Hey everyone, today we are going to see about customer service metrics. Uh, discover best practice metrics that help measure and track the performance of customer service processes. So we are going to do the customer service metrics for that. So for the, uh, the first thing we should need to start uh, data collection. For that we should go to the data collector under the jobs. So this is a customer service historic data collection. Let's open it. So in the application scope picker, select global. If it's any other thing are selected, you can go again. Native start. We should need to change at uh, change as thirty. So once we change it, you can execute now open that uh, data collection table again so in this time we can open this one daily data collection and let's activate this one so the daily data collection job must not to be dis executed because the historic data collection job is already running now we are going to view and share customer service dashboard so let's go to the dashboard under performance analytics so in the performance analytics you can Go to the dashboard. Here you can type customer service. You can select this customer service. So this is the dashboard for a customer service. Now let's click this sharing button. So you can able to see the open edit mode. So feel free to add few users, groups and the roles to practice uh, sharing. Who, whoever is chosen can view dashboard when they log into the instance. Now let's review role based dashboards. Here we have this customer service uh, inactive. Can able to see the customer service uh, agents and uh, other things as well. can review this available metrics and KPIs but remember that the data is still being collected so trends may be partially missing let's add our targets in the widget so for that let's open the customer service manager so once we select it you can uh, select the open backlog In the analysis, uh, we can select that target icon. Let's add a new target now. So in this one, you can select a global as checked. Then uh, the target could be 200. Then select, uh, let's select one month ago. Uh, like so i can select 22nd friday november so then we, so you can select a 29th as a review date now let's save this and come back uh, go back to this analysis here you can able to see the average time resolution so you can select this Analysis have select this again target uh, icon. So here also we are going to create a new target. So, so the same uh, start date the target could be five. 
same started we can provide it 22 29 so now let's save this so the uh, graph will be coming like this so now let's go back so this is how uh, the we can able to observe how the open backlog and the average time to resolution which it have changed that is uh, they display their target as a gray line over the uh, trend the score is red indicating it does not meet the target uh, so now let's enable spotlight for uh, csm so let's go to the spotlight groups you can open the spotlight groups open this one case spotlight and you can enable the checkbox and save this one once we save you can execute this so this one has been activated and executed so this case spotlight has enabled you can select this one so you can able let's yeah, it so you can able to review the data on the case spotlight tab to the admin console now under performance analytics this uh, content library so here you can select this plugin list you can review this uh, uh, variable analysis uh, solutions so you can practice installing additional content packs and review their respective dashboards and metrics other thing is remember each analytic solution requires the execution of dedicated collection job to populate data into dashboards so that's it today's video i'll see you soon